Hello and welcome back Josh, Sam and anyone else who's watching, if indeed anyone is watching, to You Stay Classy San Marino. Now we've had what can only be described as a sensational run of form. Uh, let's look at our fixtures. We won two games in a row. Uh, you remember the last game that we played on camera, the Napoli game. Um, I had uh, written off these two games. Um, I thought we could beat the Brescia team, but I didn't think we could beat Verona. So I thought, good two teams to play, Palermo and Genoa, because they are quite close to us in the division. If you look here, Genoa just above us, and uh, Palermo down there in 19th, but actually only, uh, what, four points behind us. But yeah, we picked up six points from our last uh, two games. Which means that if we hadn't won those two, we'd be bottom. But we are not. We are 14th currently. So it has been a stunning turnaround for the club. Uh, not just that, though. We have also uh, done a couple of things in the old uh, transfer market. Um, we've sold uh, Jan Marchant to Lazio for a co -ownership deal, in a co-ownership deal. £2.7 million pounds, um, for a player who's pretty good, um, but hasn't played for us really this season. Hasn't done very well. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm happy to take their £2.7 million and be here currently where we are. We have signed two new players. Uh, Alfredo Sagredo, the uh, Chilean 19-year-old centre-back, who's clearly, I think, going to be a star, um, coming in from Santiago Wanderers. Uh, he's going to uh, probably slot straight into the team or at least be on the bench for the first couple of games. And I've also signed um, the £40,000 uh, Emil Larsson, from Halmstadt, um, where he's been a pretty consistent goal scorer for the last couple of years. Um, and uh, he looks pretty tasty. Finishing 16, composure 14, he's going straight into our match day lineup as we play Palermo. So, here we go. The Palermo, as I mentioned before, are pretty terrible. I've been through and I've uh, tried to rearrange our team a little bit to uh, fit maybe. Oh, he's. Oh no. Uh, so, Sagrada's it's on international duty. Great. Um, to try and fit their best uh, positions. Um, a little bit better. So we're actually playing Yilmaz and Ben Hudson at the back because they're the two best centre-backs we have. We've got Bush playing out on the left and Nelts uh, here on the right with Nikoli Frey, Murphy and Mihailovic in the middle and then Sherlock and Caballero up front except for we will not be playing it like that. We will in fact be playing this. Larson and Caballero. Caballero got his third of the season in one of those two games. I don't remember which one it was exactly. Um, I think he scored against... Uh, Verona on the break uh, but anyway we're playing here against a pretty poor Palermo side um, we're at home really I think probably for the first time yeah we're actually favourites for this game according to the media uh, and that must be the first time this season that we've been made favourites um, so here we go we're going to go straight in there I accidentally told my strikers that I expect a performance I do not uh, I just expect something. Uh, Tommen into French, good save. I am playing now on my main screen, so I can see uh, all the names. Larson, Larson. Oh, he hits it wide. That could have been within 40 seconds. He could have made an impact. I just feel like with him and Cavalier up front, we could go far. We now have a player. Oh, he's at the side netting as well. He's a danger. Um, I just feel like we have the op we have a, a team. We do have players who are actually quite good. The problem is that quite a lot of them are constantly injured. Uh, Murphy. Oh, oh, I nearly took a deflection, uh, but uh, Vizeli was able to get across his goal and pick that out of the air. Chang. Um, someone mentioned to me that uh, we played. Palermo when they were in the second division, when we were in the second division, and they had Chang at right back. That is, in fact, Eddie Chang. Um, and here he is again, playing now against his former manager, technically, although also not technically. Um, he was briefly with us at um, FC Lviv, if you remember. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's nice to see that his career has mirrored uh, mine. Uh, Frey has fouled, and it's a free kick to Palermo. Tommen going to go for the shot but it's going to curl straight over the bar and nothing to worry about guys nothing at all to worry about Mayene Mayene oh I'm in I'm in fairly good spirits um, I just feel like a win in this uh, uh, at least one win for the next two games uh, will really make me feel comfortable and a little bit happier about our position in the division so Mihailovic puts the ball in. Ben Hudson at the back post doesn't manage to win it. Uh, we put it forward. Chang gets there. He clears it out for a throw. And uh, 
Here we go then. Bush to Mihailovic. Bush, can he cross? He gives it to Frey. Frey turns and shoots, wins us a corner because the ball is deflected off of his shot. Mihailovic, the ball comes in. Oh, Ben Hudson. Ben Hudson heads wide. I have a feeling that if that had been our usual Villamoz, it might have gone in. Larson down to Nortz. Larson to Ben Hudson. Murphy. Frey. Big ball up to Mihailovic. Mihailovic gets there. Can he cross? He does. But uh, Vizieli manages to get down there and, and comfortably collect from the low cross. Bush, nice. Oh, no. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Uh, Bush's ball back falls to the feet of Race, who shoots way over the bar. No real need for him to shoot from there. Um, nicely done. Caballero has the ball to Bush. To Mihailovic. Caballero. Oh, kid. He is still only 19, by the way. I was checking his stats before to see if he actually was as good as I remember. He is pretty good, and he is only 19. It's ridiculous. Nicoli to Murphy. Murphy, interesting ball, all the way back to French, who plays into Nortz. To Ben Hardson, to Frey. Frey nicely turned him for a kipper. Lovely stuff. Larson to Murphy. Larson again. Larson goes past his man, and it's a goal on his debut in the first half. On his debut, we are 1-0 up against Palermo. What a finish that is from Larson. The neighbours are cheering. Everyone's excited. Um, you can hear the capacity crowd here in the Olympico cheering away uh, as that one small girl from the neighbour's house cheers through the window. Um, it's lucky that we've had this upturn in form uh, because everyone else seems to also be having a pretty good run of things at the moment or at least pretty consistent everyone is sort of playing at a similar level so we, we've we've picked up if we win this game that'll be nine points from nine and uh everyone else is still pretty close to us so yeah we, we, i know that, that that does also have to take into account the fact that we were dreadful for the first what 10 games of the season um but still oh they've had a man off for injury chang plays it forward towards tarasos murphy playing it back Chang up to Tommen. They have got their feet on the ball a little bit more in this game. Uh, half, no. D'Antoni has a shot, but French saves. Ben Hudson seems like he might be injured. Uh, shall we just check on him? Ben Hudson, yeah, he looks like he's out. Uh, so it's going to be Jean Villamoz who comes on um, to give a little bit of sort of um, usual expected power to the team. Larson's also taken a bit of a knock, so whilst he has got a goal, I'm going to bring him off in favour of Sherlock. Um, and just hope that we can try and see out this Caballero. Caballero, oh, he plays it. If we'd only had a man in there, uh, Bush fouled by Alexis Tarasov. Tarasov's uh, Mihailovic. Ball goes in towards Nikoli. Looks like it's a throw in for us on the far right hand side. Nortz. I might have to change him to crosses. If he could cross, his, his nickname would have to be Nortz and Crosses, but I don't think he can cross. <laughs> um, there we go. French up to Bush. Bush to Mihailovic. Mihailovic to Murphy. Murphy to Frey. Out to Nortz. Nikoli plays it forwards, but Tarasov gets in the way, and they do manage to win it back. Uh, Yomaz fouls. He's a bit of a foul machine. Um, he's, I, he reminds me a little... Oh, great tackle from Nikoli. He reminds me a little bit of uh, the Welsh centre midfielder slash defender on Mihailovic. The ball comes towards Nikoli. Um, we had someone for... I think it was all the way back for Western Supermare, a uh, defensive midfielder slash centre back who that's surely offside. Okay, defensive midfielder slash centre back who I could never get the right position for. Maybe it was Swindon. I'm not sure, but it was basically yeah. It, it, he looked like he should. Oh, great ball, Caballero! Caballero finishes beautifully, and it is two nil to the San Marino. We are in. 13th place in the division now. We are four points clear of the relegation zone. <coughs> Excuse me. The relegation zone. And everything is coming up San Marino at the moment. Um, yeah, but anyway, and uh, my point being that uh, we could never really find out a position where that guy should have played. And it feels a little bit the same with... Oh, go on. Mihailovic puts it out. Unfortunate. Uh, Mihailovic, Murphy's also looking a bit tired. Do we have someone who can come on instead of... Uh, not really... Um, although that says there is someone in the reserves who I should have been playing uh, instead of that, really. We didn't have a left midfield, a right midfielder either. Let's bring on for let's bring on Gronen Dyke for Nicoli because he's not playing brilliantly, and I feel like this could be this could be enough. Sherlock doesn't win it. Rice has it now. Oh, it's a shot that goes well over the bar. 
Okay, tactical changes. Grenon Dyke coming on. French, big ball up. Sherlock doesn't win it, but Villamos does. Murphy to Sherlock. Sherlock slips it through to Cavalier and Mihailovic. What a shot! And an insane save from Vizielli. Uh, great reaction. The ball comes in. Pettersson clears. Um, now they have a chance to counter, but there was a poor counter. Bush. Arsenal came in for a bid for Bush. Um, oh, Sherlock. Go on. Oh, great tackle from um, number 23 there. Lavaroni. Or Yavaroni, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, Arsenal came in for a bid for Bush. Caballero, please. Caballero scores. He's on a fucking hot streak. That's two for Caballero. That's his fifth of the season. And we are 3 0 up. This is a turn up for Le Books. And we are in a great position. We're at one point behind the team that we're about to play, Genoa, who today are drawing with Verona. Uh, Verona, sorry. So we, you know, we could be on for a four game winning run. We might actually stay up in this division. Villamos, Lavaroni, oh, terrible. Iliev, nothing good from that bit of play from him. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. And and we're looking just good. This is a much better a much better performance from the boys. Uh, unfortunate injury to Ben Hudson at the beginning, but what a what a result! What a performance! What a result! Calm, I'm happy. I have nothing more that I feel like needs to be said. A stunning result. San Marino up to 13th in the division. We're actually on the top 10 list of play, uh, clubs for, for uh, least goals conceded, although we have 30 conceded, but whatever. Caballero with his fifth goal of the season. He's only 19. Uh, it was a superb performance. It certainly made my half time a lot easier. Uh, confidence is high. Vital goal for him. Uh, French is a quality keeper. Jose Javier was outstanding. Uh, never stop looking for ways to improve the team. Although I think at this point we haven't, we're not going to sign very many more players um, in this particular window. I've been looking for trying to bring in some youngsters or maybe some um, players who could potentially be sort of flipped. Um, but actually, at the moment, I feel like there's no real need. Um, I don't want to spend because the point being is that like I've looked through all the free players that are there and there are not very many that are any good at all uh, I don't want to spend so we currently have I think 1.8 million in, in transfer um, potential transfer budget but I don't want to spend all that money on players who aren't going to start and like for example a position that I really want to fill is right wing we don't have a good right winger but I can't find one who's good enough and would be the right amount of money. Maybe I'll have another look after this. Maybe I'll be wrong. Uh, it, which Are we playing that one or are we playing that one? That's a question we'll have to ask ourselves. San Marino, after two videos ago, was it, or three videos ago, I was um, discussing what would happen if I got fired. And now we're in heady heights of 13th. We were rock bottom at one point, but no more, friends, no more. Apparently we're interested in signing Giuliano Colombo. He's actually pretty good. I'm not going to sign him though. They, they're in Serie B. Wow. Juve Stabia. They were. They were. They flipped the other way rather. So yeah, they were for a long time up in the top division. Um, oh well. Wow. Oh, they have a synthetic pitch. Nice. I wonder if in Football Manager having a synthetic pitch actually does anything for the like likelihood of injuries. Because it's always supposed to be like slightly more... like Is that right? Is that true? People always say that you get more likely to be injured on those pitches. Don't know. Brett Todd, you swinging in ninth in the Premier League. Poor work. Actually, how is the Premier League looking? Let's have a look. Uh, obviously Leicester romping away at the top um, they've won it not too many times so yeah they've won it twice in the last decade which is quite good um, considering it's Leicester West has made down there in the bottom three uh, Charlton as well that's a shame York Bristol City and Swindon there in the middle taking up mid table along with Forest Green um, in the in the championship last time I looked yeah so last time I looked Oxford was second um, we've got Eastbourne Borough who did they have a year in the Prem Yes, they did. They did have one season in the Premier League. Eastbourne Borough. What an unbelievable situation that is. Um, so, yeah. 
it's all go in England. I'm enjoying the. Uh, the I, I love it when it gets to this stage when it's like a, just a big mess of clubs who are, who are sort of milling around. Um, Everton, I think we remember, are in League One and a pretty terrible League One side. So yeah, just a bit of fun. But I do enjoy when it gets to this point where it's all sort of like proper kind of um, alternate reality style. I was tempted to bring Swindon Supermarine, so I noticed that Swindon Supermarine are in the second, are in the uh, Blue Square South, and I was like, oh, if we get fired, maybe I could take over at Supermarine and bring them up, but I, I don't want to do that. Not right now, anyway. Um, Truro's Windows. Hmm. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, what have we got in them? These are all prospects, so I don't know how good they're going to be. Scout them all, give my scouts something to do. And okay. Definitely pressure on me to keep it up, keep them up. I don't think that's true. I don't see what pressure there would be on a team that's never been in this division before. Okay, another big game. Is there anything that says about momentum? Uh, Giuliano Colombo, no, I'm not interested in him because I don't want to pay £1.4 million for him. We've seen quite a lot of this season already. Um, I feel like this is, what, the fourth video or maybe even fifth video from this season. Um, I have to say uh, that if we stay up this season, we'll do less videos next season. Um, not because... It won't be well. Yeah, that actually, that does depend on how successful we are. Um, if we're terrible again, although I, th I think we will probably improve. Uh, but if we're terrible again, then you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep an eye on the interesting sort of storyline. Um, but no, I I think that the 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 amount of incremental progress it will take to get up to challenging for the title if we stay up um, we'll be not making for super fun videos overall so it will probably be focusing on cups and like big games um, rather than uh, as many games as we are this year but the thing is we just haven't um, we haven't yet secured safety and it's a little bit tense at the moment So yeah, we'll just try and uh, once once I stay up, we'll try and rush through a couple of seasons. Uh, relatively speaking, and this this particular last couple of seasons in this game have taken a while because of various real life uh, things going on. Um, but but we will get there. We will win the league with San Marino, unless we get fired, in which case we won't. But I hope we do. Ducky. So he could be a decent right winger. He could be a good striker. Lee Errington, the Portuguese. He's not going to be a good striker, come on. Torino's Ferreira is pretty good, but he's quite old. Three and a half million for a 29 year old. I mean, if I had three and a half million to spend, maybe I'd consider it. But I don't. And De Los Santos, I'm just going to have to reject it. Um, let's have a look at him. He's pretty good. Scoring a lot of goals in the second division in Spain. Okay, right, so Cagliari, Navarra. Let's hope that Cagliari can beat Navarra, keep them down. Nice, 4 0. Okay, now we need to play Genoa. We hope that Verona can beat Lazio, and then in the late kickoff, we want Roma and Brescia to draw. That's what we're hoping for. Um, let's watch now as Lazio beat Verona. And then, I don't know, one of those. Roma are in a terrible run of form, by the way. Um, just saying. Okay. College there. And defensive-wise. Burnas, March, and why is Villamos? So let's do that. Burnas. I'd actually like Knight on the bench. And in terms of midfield, good. No. 
No, let's do that. Okay, let's do it. Okie dokie, dokie dokie, okie, manual February. Let's go, calm, go out there and impress me. Passionate faith, passionate faith, passionate faith. Emil Larsson scored his one goal on his debut. Let's see if he can get another goal here against Genoa. Peterson, oh, good save from French straight away after two minutes. Early pressure from Genoa, not great news. But Hardson clears though. Caballero, I didn't check on his fitness. Oh dear. Oh great. <laughs> that was brilliant. Hey, okay. Peterson puts the ball in again. Yilmaz clears. We try to get out to him, but we don't really get it away. Fusco again pressuring, but not doing much. Ricardo's long range effort. Terrible and wide. That guy's name's good. Zetterlund Nielsen. All right, Yilmaz to Murphy. Murphy, oh, he goes for a shot. It's a corner. Murphy scored his first ever goal for us against Verona, um, and it was a belter. Uh, lovely curled finish from the edge of the box. Uh, we now have a throw-in on the left. Up goes Bush for that. I oh, know. Don't get to watch it, though, because, of course. Loopy. He's crazy. And Caballero, he goes for a long-range effort. What an, absolute <laughs> what an absolute goal that would have been. His confidence is apparently through the roof. Uh, interesting attempt at a f cross field ball and that's it oh, okay that looked like it was deflected but no it's a goal kick it's pretty end to end um, relatively speaking big ball up Nortz wins it Larson plays it back to Fusco plays it to Nortz back to French Nortz Nicoli Fusco can he play it up, the, up forward up the pitch Fusco with the ball still Larson has it Larson shoots but Moya saves uh, and now a throw in on the left for us Caballero, Caballero's with the ball he tries to shoot, oh it's unfortunate and that's going to be a goal kick ok, 37 minutes gone not much happened in the last sort of 10 minutes Larson with the ball, back to Murphy Murphy shot, but Moya makes a save we actually have had more of the, more of the chances at least, maybe not more of the ball in any kind of significant way Slightly more possession than them. Um, but, yeah, well done, French. Well held. And we can go left if we want. We do. Bush. Big ball forward. Caballero's there. Caballero. Oh, great defensive tackle from Maccioni, or an interception, rather. Maccioni, he flicks the ball over the bar. Mihailovic puts it in. Oh, <laughs> Yilmaz hits the crossbar. We are looking like a different team. Colossa. Good name. Lupi running with the ball. Good save from French. Peterson puts the ball in. Maccioni. Oh, we just about get it clear. Caballero with it now. He's running with the ball again into the box. He gets in there and he scores. What a goal. We have scored again. San Marino 1, Genoa 0. And we are up to 12th. We are above Genoa with this scoreline, if it stays as it is. Um, or at least this result as it stays as it is. Caballero has definitely found some confidence and some form uh, since the like two-week international break there. Got another injury to a centre-back, this time to Yilmaz. We'll bring on Villamoz um, and hope that he can do the needful just before half-time. That's another second, another goal, two games in a row where we've scored just before half-time. Uh, Emil Larsson looks like he's struggling a little bit for fitness. Who knows? when it was he actually played his last few games for uh, Halmstad. Okay, anyway. Bush, Vilamos, Bush to Murphy, Mihailovic. Look at the way we're playing the ball around. This is completely different. Fusco plays it forward. Okay, Bush tries to play it forward. Uh, Cavaliero chases, but it was a rubbish ball. Colossa. Vilamos heads clear. Larson getting in there. Nicoli with the ball. Nicoli. Can he play it forward? He's going past another one, but Peterson intercepts his pass forward. And uh, Lupi shoots from miles out, but as his name suggests, it was a crazy idea. Uh, Bush to Caballero. Caballero tackled. Uh, goes foot back, though, and, and wins it again. Caballero again! Caballero again! It's a second goal for Caballero. He loses the ball, helps win it back, and then turns around and finishes the uh, sort of... Uh, recycling of the ball there Murphy straight through to Caballero Caballero one touch and then finishes with a plum 2-0 Caballero is on fire 
Uh, Genoa's defence is terrified, at least. And we... Oh, could it be three? Could it be three? Oh, it nearly was. What an effort that would have been. But Hardson wins the ball. Mihailovic and Cavaliero again. Oh, he was offside. But it was another good save from Moya. They've gone 4-4-2, four, four, but only in uh, name. Peterson plays the ball forward with a throw-in. They Oh, Zettel and Nilsson gets in behind Bush and well left there. Well left there by Ben Hardson. San Marino holding on to our leader, not looking too troubled. French, another good save. Up to Nortz, Ben Hardson, huge ball forward, and Larson can get on it. No, he can't. That's unfortunate. Bush now to Caballero, back to Murphy. Bush again. Caballero goes past his man. Can he cross? No. Tried to put it in. Fusco gets it. Fusco has a shot, and Mihailovic was offside. That's a shame. Uh, let's bring on Gronendijk uh, just to refresh that left wing a little bit. We might replace Larson in a bit because he's, again, looking slightly uh, more tired than the rest of the squad. 70 minutes gone. 74 minutes gone. And yes, it's definitely starting to look like time. We should make some changes. Um, College will come on for Larson. And we're going to bring on Tom Good for... Oh, no, we're not. Undo last then. When do we play? Is that the next game? Let's bring on good for Murphy. We need to play him into some form because he's a very good defensive midfielder. Hence the name, good. French up towards Bush. Bush to French. French, huge ball up towards Caballero. Not sure if he won it, but anyway, Gronendijk has it. Caballero. Caballero shoots. Ooh, okay. Wasn't sure if that took a deflection or if it was off one of our men, but doesn't matter. Big ball forward towards Lupi. Salau. They're playing it around nicely in midfield. Their change of uh, change of formation seems to have slightly helped them. Ooh, what a stunning save from French there. That was a certain goal. Um, but no. Loopy and another great save from French. Bush to Bernhardson. Back to French. Big ball forward. Caballero seems like he won that. Not really sure. And uh, oh, Larson's been injured. Okay, but he's actually going to be able to stay on. It seems. Goods come on. Nicoli shoots. The ball nearly falls nicely to Gronendijk, but no. And now Gutnecht. Can he cross? He does, but Vilamos is there. Larsen gets back. Larsen to Caballero. Caballero to Good. Good back to Vilamos. Big ball forward towards Larsen, but I think Larsen's going to be a little... You would argue he's possibly slightly injured. That's a very nicely worked move from Genoa, and this time French was left with nothing he could have done. Gutnecht. Puts the ball home. Um, but hopefully it is good necked for Genoa's chances in this game. We just need to hold out for seven more minutes. Nicoli to Fusco. Good. Up to Gronendijk. Lovely bit of... Oh, plus. Well, it was a wasted, wasted in the end. But Oh, nicely to good. Caballero has it. Caballero still has it. Yeah, not a great finish. 85 on the clock. They've gone back to 4-4-2. That might be good for us. Good has just taken a knock. Ball comes in. Oh, they hit the crossbar, I think that was. Gronendijk. Oh, if he'd turned, if he'd taken a little bit more time, he could have released Caballero. Four minutes of added time. Peterson, they've won a corner. Peterson puts the ball in the middle. It's a stunning save. French must be the man of the match. I feel like Caballero will give it, will get given it. But French really must be the man of the match here. Get it out. Gutnecht fouls. And yeah, we've got three minutes to hold on. French, ball forward. We win it again. Oh, it's lovely. Caballero. Oh, it's unfortunate. Well played, though, from the boys. Uh, lovely play from Larson to, to slip in Caballero. But he wasn't able to finish. It was a good save from the goalkeeper. Villamos again winning the ball. Caballero. What the fuck was that? He doesn't have a good first touch. Uh, Peterson. Salau back to Peterson. He's going to go long. There it goes, but it's gone wide, and it's a three. It's a two. What? Sorry, three two. It's a two one win for Genoa. That is our fourth win on the bounce. Uh, yeah, did I say two one win over Genoa or two Genoa? Anyway, we won. Uh, Verona did exactly what we wanted, and they smashed Lazio for us. So that's good. We're now twenty three points. We're we're eight points clear of the relegation zone. Um, what else happened? Fusco has been injured, but uh, sorry, yellow carded. Yomaz is oh no, Yomaz has done his knee ligaments. Well, it's good thing that we signed a new centre back then. 
And let's look over here. No, we did well. Jose Javier was great this time around. Simply faultless. Pretty bad one. Yeah, we'll be fine. Cavalier is staying. Apparently Real Madrid were interested in him for £11 million, uh, which is genuinely ridiculous. Let's look at the table. Um, we've still got a couple of games left to play. I believe that uh, Roma are still yet to play. Um, but they're, they're on a terrible streak. We're actually pretty well placed. I mean, we don't need to get too many more points before we're actually at the kind of level where people might expect us to stay up. So we're doing pretty good. Let's look again at our fixture list. Uh, so there's maybe maybe Lazio Roma might be a good pair, like a double set of games against the capital sides. I think that's good. Lazio and Roma. We'll do them next. So I'll play Torino in the cup and then Sampdoria and then we'll do Lazio Roma. Okay, see you in the next one then, guys. Bye.